Hi class, this is Dr. O'Connor. So I just want to show you how to put substituents on a benzene ring or another type of ring in mastering chemistry. So if I wanted to make this a phenol, I would go ahead and put a single bond here. And notice here I have a methyl group that comes up. So in order to change that to an OH, I, all I would need to do is click the oxygen here on the right side and then put that in. And I have an OH group, okay? If I wanted to put an amino group on there, then all I need to do is click the N, the nitrogen, put that there, and I end up with my NH2 or my amino group. But how do I put an ethyl group or how about a one of those sulfur groups or a nitro group? Remember, a nitro is an NO2. Here's how you do that. So let's go ahead and put the benzene ring up here. And so what I want to do is I want to put a nitro group right here. So I go ahead, I put the single bond here, I have this methyl group here, and I go down to this little icon here. This is called abbreviated groups. I click on that and I get this little screen that pops up. So right here are all of the different groups that I can add. So I need to go down here to the N and oops, I just passed the N up and here is the NO2 group, the nitro group. I can go ahead and click that, click OK and here we see our nitro group and I'll just click here and it replaces the methyl group with the nitro group. Now let's say I want to put a propyl group here. So again, I have my single bond and I click the abbreviated groups. I go down here. See here we have all these um, carbons, uh, um, carbon chains, carbons with hydrogens. And we know a propyl group is a C3. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. Oh no, wait a minute, I want a C3H7. Oops, I keep clicking the wrong thing. There we go. I'll click OK, and right here I'll replace that methyl group with the propyl group, okay? Um, let's do another one here. So let's say in this case here, I'll go ahead and put that there. And let's say I want to put one of those sulfur groups on here. Again, I just click. I'll go down here to the S's. Um, here we go. Um, here's that sulfonic acid group here. And I could just go ahead and replace that with that. Let's say I want to put an isopropyl group here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that single bond there. I have to replace this methyl group. Click there. And I want to go down to the iso. And here it would be. It would be the I, C3H7. Okay, that's for isopropyl. Click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Okay. Anyway, that's how you would do those things. So again, draw your ring and go ahead and put your bond here. And then we go to abbreviated groups. Let's do that nitro group again. And let's say this time, where is my um, nitro group? Here we go, my NO2. There it is, I click OK and I'll replace that with the nitro group. So I hope this helps. Everybody have a good night. Bye-bye.